Hey guys, I'm out here in the garden today, but this video is not about gardening. Uh, last year, I think it was last year, late in the season, I did a video on horseweed, which is uh, a good plant to make a, a spindle for a hand drill for friction fire. And somebody had sent me a message asking me to show the plant in bloom while it's still green so that they could go out and find a patch of it. And I don't remember who you are. Hopefully you're still watching my channel. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that video now because the horseweed is in flower and I can show you it when it's green so you can go out and find it. So here's a nice little patch of it. It just grows everywhere. Right here's one. And it's basically a single stem that comes up with skinny leaves that come off of the main stem and then at the very top it starts getting a big flower cluster. And these flower clusters, hopefully you can see it, they are somewhat like lettuce or dandelion seeds because they form little fluffy seed heads and they'll get blown away in the wind. Let me uh, put this in macro mode and I'll take it in close. I hope that's focusing in for you. Let me get it in my hand here. Have to try and trick the autofocus. But it just gets tiny, tiny little white flowers. And they're really hard to see with the naked eye. But it, to the naked eye, it just looks like little green pods. And it's just covered with them. The whole upper two feet or so is covered. And they eventually turn into a fluffy little seed pod. Which you can see this one here has really went to seed. Like I said, they just blow away in the wind like dandelion seeds. Take you in close and show you the leaves. There's a daddy long legs. It's just a simple leaf, very sharp and pointed. Um, has a slight little teeth on here and there, but pretty much a smooth leaf margin. And it's hairy. The stem is hairy, and the the leaves, the underside of the leaves, are hairy. That should give you everything you need to identify horseweed. Now there's another plant similar, I think it's called dog fennel, and then there's also, there's also goldenrod, which looks similar, and it's right here. The difference is it gets yellow flowers. Everybody sees these yellow flowers and they think it causes their allergies, but the pollen of goldenrod is too heavy, it falls to the ground and it doesn't uh, cause allergies. But it does have a similar leaf, lance-shaped leaf with a tooth here and there. It's not hairy though, like the horseweed. But I've seen guys use goldenrod because it's a it's a related species. You know, it's similar to horseweed, and it has the same properties. It has a long, straight stem that makes a good uh, spindle for the hand drill. For friction fire and like I said I think there's another one called dog fennel and there's probably a few other plants uh, they're all in the aster family and they all are good spindles for the hand drill friction fire so hopefully the person that asked me to do that video is still watching if you are still watching hopefully you'll leave a comment and let me know that you uh, you got this because it would make me feel good to know that it helped you out. Anyone else who's interested in learning to do friction fire with the hand drill, I still haven't been successful with it. I can get a lot of smoke, but I just can't get an ember. And it's just going to take time. I haven't really dedicated myself to, to learning that skill, but I have definitely given it some tries. And it, it's, it's tough. I think the hand drill friction fire is... If you can master that, you're doing pretty good. But uh, that's it. That's horseweed. You can find it growing everywhere. And um, even if you find a plant that 
isn't horseweed, but it looks similar, give it a try because it's likely going to work just as well. Thanks for watching, and thanks for all the comments and support.